is no gorgeous. <laughs> What is going on here? Awesome! We are four episodes into this new Happily Ever After season, and I was honestly very tempted to not even watch it. I also thought that no one else was watching it. But after asking my subscribers, more than 50% of those that voted say that they are watching the show. Barely more than 50%. And hey, I mean, Angela did get fired from the show. Like she is completely gone and not associated with the show at all anymore. It's not even in her Instagram bio. So at least with half of you guys watching and no more Angela, that's motivation enough for me to watch this new season. And I know that some of you are thinking, you make 90 Day Fiance videos, Kibbles. Why wouldn't you make videos about Happily Ever After? Well, the answer is quite simple. It's because out of all of the 90 Day spinoffs, this one is the most scripted. And I'm just getting tired of the repeat couples that are showing up in every single season. But I do think that I have some good news because I think this will be the very last season of Ed and Liz. And I also think that it will be Rob and Sophie's last season as well. At least I hope so. With Ed and Liz, it's been a long time coming. Ed for years has been TLC's biggest moneymaker, but he is finally circling the drain with his all too drawn out relationship with Liz. We have seen all over Instagram that Liz is not with Ed anymore and has a new boyfriend. And Ed is also apparently running out of money. Big house, you know, a lot of expenses and we're underwater right now. His glory days of being one of the highest paid celebrities on Cameo seems to be no more because he himself says that they are broke and living off of their savings. So while I'm more than happy to watch that crumble right in front of my eyes, I am limiting how much I make videos about it. One reason being because I'm really tired of talking about Ed. And the other reason is that I'm very annoyed that Ed and Liz involved Liz's daughter in filming this season. That was a very poor choice on Liz's part. Liz, you want to fight with this cretin in front of your kid for the world to see? That's stupid. Keep your sweet kid out of this mess and off TV, please. I don't know how much I will cover them, but I did cover the fact that they did not get married in another video. If you haven't seen that, I linked it in the description below. But something I do want to talk about is what's going on with Rob and Sophie. They were a couple that I was very surprised to see on Happily Ever After. When I record the show, I ended up recording episode four before I finished watching the first few episodes. So when I actually went in to check the recording to make sure it was finishing, I was so confused because all I saw with no context was Rob locking eyes with this guy that I did not recognize. I had to back up to find out that, oh, this is Sophie's friend that Rob is meeting for the first time. And also when I backed all the way up to episode one, I realized Rob and Sophie were not doing well at all after their 90 Day Fiancé season. They kind of played it off on the 90 Day Fiancé tell-all, like they were okay. They didn't seem like they were great, but I didn't realize they were completely broken up. But then on Happily Ever After, they started out with Sophie living with a girl named Kay, not Rob. She was supposed to be living with Rob in their apartment they got together in Austin, Texas. Apparently, after they got married, Sophie quickly figured out that Rob was even more of a knob than originally thought. He lied to me about the extent of his online cheating. But after two months apart, and I'm sure a contract incentive from TLC, Sophie is now ready to try to salvage her marriage with Rob. She makes an attempt to get back with Rob in hopes that he has changed, but Rob has not changed and will never change. Conversations. I found all these texts, all these other girls on your phone from the whole four years. It was like 50 bitches in your phone, Rob. So her first attempt, of course, completely fails. In my opinion, you're the same as before two and a half months ago. That's not fair at all. I really don't know what she expects. And when she even tried to temporarily move back in with him, I've never seen a poorer attempt from someone to try to get someone they supposedly love to stay with them. Those flowers jumped out in the rain, ran over and probably technically stole them off of somebody's bush. Initially, when I saw his busted up flowers on top of that notepad, I at first was like, oh, look, he wrote her a sweet note trying to win her back. But no, it was a chore list. Put makeup and hair products back after use. Don't get mad at me when you don't get what you want. Be patient and I'll likely work it out for you. This is up there with Ed giving Rose mouthwash and a toothbrush. Just your breath is not um, pretty. 
both Ed and Rob think that they are helping out by doing things like this and they just come off completely inappropriate and cold. I, I encourage you. Do you or do you not count the toilet roll papers of how many I've used? People using Who it. Who uses a whole roll of toilet paper in a day? It's not a day. And this also proves that they were arguing more about just Rob's online cheating. He is very obviously a nightmare to live with. To me, this also screams that they are really completely over. Their body language makes me think that the romance is dead and gone. So Sophie takes her suitcase and leaves again. I guess Rob is just doomed to be a single spider dad forever. No mama today. Y'all just still living in a single parent home. Sophie's mom is annoying, but she has been right about what is going on. Sophie wants to fix Rob, but Rob doesn't think he needs to be fixed. And Rob doesn't want to because Rob doesn't think he's the problem. He thinks Sophie's the problem. So this is really all pointless. Yet, the cycle continues. Sophie and Rob try to go on dates. Rob at least realizes during this third attempt to try to get along that he has to at least pretend like he has a soul and cares a little bit to try to get Sophie back. So he does some half-assed things, like makes her a lame poem. So here's my vow that I'll keep to. I'll do my part in loving you. And you cannot convince me that he did not just ask AI to generate one for him real quick. He could have at least like wrote it on a piece of paper to pretend it wasn't some AI generated poem. And he takes her dancing, which is fine, but it doesn't feel like a huge amount of effort. Yet the bare minimum keeps Sophie interested in some way and she keeps trying to keep them together. If it continues like this, I will move home and then we can start to do more things like this as a couple. After watching all of these attempts of them trying to get back together and it not working, I was starting to roll my eyes and think, this is going to be their entire season of the same thing. But I guess the producers could also tell that this was happening, this constant cycle of trying to get along and not getting along. So they decided to throw in a new storyline to shake things up. You know, Callum. Your friend from England? That's right, Sophie's childhood friend is coming to the US to stir up some drama. And she looks way happier talking about that guy. He does travel a lot and recently he told me he's planning a trip to the US and so I told him that he should come to Austin to visit me. So here comes Sophie's revenge plot. And Rob gets to meet the guy right away at a get together Sophie has with her friends. She, she wants me to meet him, so sure, I'll meet him. And sure enough, Callum walks in. And I don't know what I expected in this moment, but now even knowing what the context of this scene is, Rob's reaction is still very strange to me. This is Rob. Hi, Jim, Rob, you are? Hi, Jim, Rob. Nice to meet you. Usually when Rob is upset, he looks like this. But once he sees Callum and realizes that this guy friend is not ugly, like what does this face he is making mean? Now he seems to have completely stopped worrying about Sophie's roommate, Kay, now he's worried about this guy. Necessarily flying across the ocean to see me. He was coming to America anyway. He did say he would be mad if this guy was not ugly. If this dude doesn't look like, like Gollum, then I don't like it. Nope, not Gollum. Rob is not looking at that guy like he is a Gollum. I also find it so crazy that Rob has been questioning who Sophie has been sleeping with. Bro, I found out right before we got married that Sophie was into women, but she'd never actually explored it. Are you this girl? Like, are y'all in a relationship? I'm sure that part of that is him being insecure since he online cheated, but Rob has also been known to have an OnlyFans where he would, and I quote, talk to men, sell pictures to men for pay. I'm not going to quote word for word the next part here, but those pictures were him bending over and getting his whole ass in those pictures. But no, we're not gonna talk about that on the show. Instead, they're going to focus on Sophie's old friend. I know Sophie's beautiful, and I don't believe that he's not attracted to her for one second. So that is the storyline being pivoted to. And at one point, her and Callum were more than friends. I mean, we dated for a short amount of time when we were like, very first met when we were in Portugal. You and her dated? I'm waiting for Sophie to just come on and start doing an evil laugh. I'll be back. Why? Because I gotta go to the bathroom. So of course Rob sneaks out and is mad. And I mean, this is all going perfectly for Sophie's revenge. He's not an ex. Like when I say my exes, Callum's not one of them. Like it wasn't something that I said to people, don't tell Rob. Like it just was something that I, you know, I just never told him because to me it wasn't relevant. 
So your marriage is on the rocks. You are struggling to get along and failing to get back together. But let's bring on a guy Sophie dated when she was a teenager to come hang out. And no one, of course, mentioned that Sophie and this guy dated until Rob meets him in person. With how Sophie has acted on the other season of 90 Day Fiance, she's been pretty mature. So I have a very hard time believing that she would just forget to tell Rob she dated this guy. I think that he must have already known, or it's for the show, or maybe they are so completely done to the point where she doesn't care. I would believe that her and Rob are just friends at this point. They moved to a new city before they really broke up, so now I feel like they're just strictly trying to hang out with the same friend group and trying to get along. Because I think this relationship, like Ed and Liz, is completely over. But they have a contract and have to fill their time slot with something. I think Sophie needs to be the a bit more confident in herself. Is everything okay over here? Sapper and Shekinah want to remind you to subscribe to the Kibbles channel. If you don't, Sapa will appear and give you an exotic AI generated dance. That mother is not real! Let me know what you think about this. I'm really excited to see both Ed and Rob circle the drain and be done with this show. I don't see any body language between Rob and Sophie that makes me think they are together at all. And this really would be a fitting end for both couples. It's time to move on and say goodbye to both of these villains. Again, let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!